Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Lakshmi and you're watching the Health Talk session by Yashoda Hospitals. Young Indians are becoming victims of sudden heart attack. Even if you follow a particular diet and maintain a healthy lifestyle, you never know when this could hit you. So let's discuss and try to understand heart attack in our today's episode. Joining us today, we have with us Dr. Kala Jitender Jain, Consultant Interventional Cardiologist from Yashoda Hospitals, High Tech City. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Hello. So doctor, the average heart disease age in India has become more youthful than ever. So what do you think the reasons for this could be? Yeah, so if you look at the heart diseases, previously we used to think that heart diseases only affects the elderly subset of people, especially in the late uh, mid 50s and beyond. But I think this scenario has changed now. And in the last, I think, uh, two decades, probably from 20 years uh, back, we are seeing a lot of heart diseases uh, which are coming, which are becoming more prevalent, especially in the youngsters, uh, that's in the 20s and the 30s. So I think uh, uh, with, the, with the era of the COVID, like you said, the post-COVID era, the number of cases of heart uh, diseases, and uh, especially if you want to comment on heart attacks, I think the numbers are increasing enormously. Uh, in the younger population. So I think the heart attacks are more common in the younger population and there is no age discrepancy uh, between the aged and as well as the young. So any age, I think it's not a barrier for heart attacks. So how do heart attack in young people present differently than compared with elderly population? So if you look at the symptoms of heart attack, it is the aged or elderly people, all the youngster, the common symptoms which you come across are three common symptoms. The first one is the chest pain, uh, like chatilo barugundaram, chatilo no piravadam anedi. Adi common symptom. Adi chala mandilo manak telusnalo ante under ki adi common ga telusnadi. So yaparite chati magba madhya baga na no possa do. Apuri idh heart ani problem telsi imete varu doctor se consult cheda manadi jargu thau ante. So chest pain is the most common symptom and it's the most prevalent also. So along with chest pain, you can have other symptoms also, like breathlessness, uh, which he never had before, especially in routine day-to-day -day act activities, like in the mundu and panjies kunne the gude ipur check poora mane the uz urka ga alisatay raavana mo, kudhi ka metle kina gani ayasam raavana mo. Evani heart oka lakshana lan chapochon ato. More adi gunde dada and the palpitations mane the. So adi gude one of the common symptoms. So e more symptoms like chest pain, ayasam raavana mo. And palpitations are the common symptoms. Atypical symptoms, Mirana too, when compared to elderly population, youngsters low kuni atypical symptoms go to punches uh, present out there. Like Chatilo Manta Ravadam, heartburn and so Chalaman the heartburn and JPC, heart attack and Kakunda, gas tablets, Koni Taguta the Mon and Kuntur. So Adanivala in the golden period and the Chalaman the e hospital reach and the work a time ni Pogot Kuntur. So the normally fatalities could a Perguta wanted. So on the cane, e heartburn and the Epuk Manam General Ga Chala either light got this code. If you have symptoms, you can see the ECG is common whether it is related to heart or related to gas or acidity. But doctor, do you think heart attack or heart related problems go undetected in youngsters? Yeah, definitely. So what I said before like heartburn, most of the people, they, they neglect this heartburn. They feel that they had some food uh, in a restaurant at a night and probably it is because of spicy food or something like that. They feel that it's because of that and they don't come to the hospital. And because of this late presentation, most of the MIs and most of the cardiac symptoms uh, are goes undetected. So that is why whenever you have this symptom like heartburn, never neglect it. Always go to the nearest doctor or the nearest uh, hospital setup or a primary health center where you have these facilities like ECG or a studio go, get it done and get it diagnosed early. So talking about diagnostic test doctor, as you've mentioned, when do you think that one should screen for the heart diseases, especially when you know that the heart diseases are running in their family? So I think uh, generally the age, there is nothing like age limit. 
but i think uh, after the covid era i think the most common thing i think after the age of 25 30 one needs to get a screening test done i think every 2 to 3 years see for the routine health checkup which is being done at every hospital or bigger hospitals get the routine test like a uh, uh, lipid profile test which gives an idea about the cholesterol levels the bad and the good cholesterol along with that you can get the ecg which is a basic screening test for a heart any heart disease is there before or any congenital heart disease is there or any previously had some heart attack like all this can be interpreted with a basic ecg so along with that you have a 2d echo uh, which give, which is nothing but a Doppler ultrasound, uh, which gives an idea about the pumping of the heart, uh, idea about the valvular any issue is there, any leakage is there, and overall the whole picture of the heart will be, you can get most of the information from that. So ECG, Tudio, I think those are the basic screening tests along with the lipid profile, and if we feel that patient is at a high test for high probability for getting a coronary artery disease or a heart heart block, then I think we can go for further evaluation like a treadmill test where patient performs a stress test uh, especially on treadmill and during the exercise we see that whether there are any ischemic changes or any changes in the ECC which are dynamic which are consistent with a heart blockages. So now discussing about the treatment modalities, are there any recent advancements as far as uh, treating heart attacks are concerned doctor? Yeah, if you look at the treatment of heart attack, I think the most common important thing is diagnosis. So, if you have a patient who has an ECG, the ECG is a heart attack. So, if you have a patient with a window period of 6 hours, at the hour of 6 hours, you have a set up in a hospital, you have a cardiologist or physician, you have a diagnosis, you have a treatment for two reasons. You have a thrombolytic therapy. You have a patient with a right hand, you have 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 a right hand, like a streptokinase, urokinase or tenecteplase injections. So, our injection is easy. Within 30 to 45 minutes, low, a clot ni okoyela a injection kargish netlayte patient oka symptoms ani tagi po thundi. Athano prana payam ni chukula baita baita thano man chergu thundi. Okoyela atla ga kunda okoyela cath lab facility unnetlayte a pedda setup lo okoyela cardiologist intervention cardiologist unnetlayte primary angioplasty or a primary PCI ani thi cheyochu. So, this primary PCI is the cause of heart block or the cause of heart attack or the cause of heart attack. The virus is the cause of block and balloon and the cause of heart attack. But, if you have a lot of technology, you can use the cause of heart attack, 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 दांत लो यंता परसेंटेज ऑफ ब्लॉकेजेस यंता कैल्शियम अन्य पैरामीटर्स अन्य द मान तेल्स कोड़ा माने जरूरत होंगे, सो इधी इंटरवेस्कुलर इमेजिंग अन्य आंटरो, सो दांत लो माली रेंडो रखा लो नहीं, ओकटी इंटरवेस्कुलर अल्ट्रासाउंड अन्य द, अधि अल्ट्रासाउंड बेसिस पर मिदा मानो को इमेजेस ल रेंडो वधी OCT ऑप्टिकल कोहरेंस टोमोग्राफी आंटर। सो ये रेंडी टेक्नोलॉजी साने दी पुरे आई थिंक अन्य पैदा-पैदा सेंटर्स लो उन्नई। सो दानी यूज़ चेड वाला डेफिनेट का आई थिंक एंजियोप्लास्टी ओका रिजल्ट्स बोथ शॉर्ट टर्म as well as long term results kuda chala baga unnai so a lot of papers have also come on that so literature choose kuna tla ite kuda dino ka results long term go kuda baung unta yani kuni trials kuda positive ochai so along with that manap calcium theodan ki in the mundu only rota ablation laga machines unde di kan ippu du kottaga a balloon technology ochi indi like intervascular lithotripsy anadi so a balloon dwara oka manam ete kidney lo stone si break chastham ho अठला हार्ट लो ब्लॉकेजेस कैल्शियम ने ब्रेक चेंड आन की लिथोट्रिप्सी बलून ने वार्डम ने जरूरत होने आधी कुछ वन ऑफ द गुड डिवाइस आई थिंक इनको टी कैल्शियम ब्रेक चेंड आन की ऑर्बिटल एट्रैक्टिव में आंटर सो आधी कुछ रोटा एब्लेशन लेकर ने पंच जैसे ने बट इट्स ए न्यू डिवाइस वेर कॉम्प्लिकेशन so doctor, once a person is diagnosed and treated for heart disease, what measures or lifestyle modifications should they follow for a healthy life? So I think uh, prevention is better than cure. So always I say that important lifestyle, like healthy lifestyles, anadi manam andar anavarch koali, mukhyanga a healthy lifestyle like regular exercise, so daily 
ఒక ట్వంటీ టు థర్టీ మినిట్స్ ఆఫ్ మోడరేట్ ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ అనేది చేయాలి సో అట్లీస్ట్ మార్నింగ్ అవర్స్లో ఉంటే ఆల్వేస్ బెటర్ వేర్ యూ గెట్ ఎ ఫ్రెష్ ఆక్సిజన్ సో దానివల్ల అట్లీస్ట్ చెమటలు పట్టేటట్టుగా మరీ బ్రిస్క్గా పరిగెత్తకుండా బ్రిస్క్ వాక్ చేస్తే సరిపోతుంది అట్లీస్ట్ ట్వంటీ టు థర్టీ మినిట్స్ ఆఫ్ డే అలాంగ్ విత్ దాట్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎ ఫ్రెష్ ఫ్రూట్స్ ఫ్రెష్ వెజిటేబుల్స్ లెస్ సాల్ట్ డైట్ లెస్ ఆయిలీ డైట్ అండ్ అవాయిడింగ్ ఆల్ ద ఫ్యాటీ ఫుడ్స్ విచ్ వీ ఆల్ యూ నో లైక్ ఇట్ సో ట్రై టు అవాయిడ్ యాజ్ మచ్ ఆస్ పాసిబుల్ అండ్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఐ థింక్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద కోవిడ్ ఎరా స్ట్రెస్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ సో స్ట్రెస్ని కూడా అది కూడా వన్ ఆఫ్ ద రెస్ట్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఫర్ హార్ట్ డిసీజ్ సో మనం యోగా మెడిటేషన్ అలాంటి ఏదైతే ప్రాచీనమైన మన పద్ధతులు ఉన్నాయో దాన్ని కూడా అనుసరించి మన ఒక మానసిక ఒత్తిడిని కూడా తగ్గించుకుంటే ఈ హార్ట్ అటాక్స్ కూడా అనేది కూడా మనం చాలా వాటికి నివారించవచ్చు So before ending this episode doctor what message you would like to give to our audience out there So I think uh, I have given that statement like prevention is always better than cure so always a healthy lifestyle is mandatory I think one has to follow that and once you get an attack or once you have been diagnosed with heart attack I think uh, a proper follow up with a cardiologist is very much required so what are the medications has been prescribed like the antiplatelet therapy the blood thinners the cholesterol drugs the anti hypertensive drugs all these uh, drugs has to be properly uh, taken by the patient so compliance is very important and along with that patient has to go for regular test at at a frequent visits so that he have to see whether any side effect with that medication is there or not so i think uh, at the end what i say is it's a doctor patient relationship which is important and one has to trust on the other to have a good outcome for the patient so thank you doctor it was wonderful having you here on the program today thank you so this brings us to the end of this episode Hope this episode was informative on the topic heart attacks and its management and don't forget to join us for the next time as well until then take care and stay healthy thank you